What's up, Guam? I'm Dave Delgado. Welcome to KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching. I'll get to some NFL scores and highlights in just a bit. But first off, some local sports. Check it out. Let's get the show started with girls high school championship basketball highlights from the FD Phoenix Center. The Academy Cougars and Southern High Dolphins taken to the court in front of a packed house. Marlisa Tenorio hitting the long two-point shot for the Dolphins in the corner. Gemma Lee Alou dribbling, dishes it off to Alina Bonto who drives to the basket and dumps it off to Caroline Poppy for the basket off glass. April Toledo at the free throw line, misses on the shot attempt but sticks around in the paint and comes up with the rebound and gets the putback to go for two points. Southern High with possession again, Toledo kicking the ball out to Tanya Flores. Flores off on the shot, but Marlisa Tenorio with position down low gets the rebound and putback to go for two points. Callie Beneventi with the pass to teammate Luis Baza who works her way inside the key to get the shot to fall for an academy answer. The Dolphins get the win in overtime, 39 to 32. April Toledo led all scorers in the win with 17 points. We worked so hard this season for, for this win, and um, the girls deserve what it win. We had a chance last year. I had a chance in 2007. Now I got one. It took me six years to get one. Well, I'm glad to win one, and it feels good. We've been waiting for this ever since. We redeemed ourselves since last year. We're number one. We've always been number one. We're better. We're stronger. The 2013 GBC Girls High School JV Basketball Tournament tipped off at the GW Gym over the weekend. The double elimination tournament features the Cougars, Bulldogs, Geckos, Islanders, Sharks, and Royals all in the hunt for the tournament title. The first game of the tournament saw the Geckos face the Islanders on their home court. GW working the give and go, Colleen Kanata passes to Samantha Kanata back to Colleen for the bucket. Islanders get a quick score off the inbound and cut to the basket. The Geckos would end up taking the game, sending the Islanders to the loser's bracket of the competition. Games pick back up this weekend at the GW Gym. Now for some NFL.